Why would it be the right size? There it is over there, probably. Can I reach it? Probably not. How you doing today? Welcome to another episode here with me on my channel. Today on the show, down here, if you look on the other camera here, you'll see that I've kind of placed everything where it should be. I haven't cleaned up the wiring yet or nothing, but it's pretty much wanting to get the fuel lines kind of ran how they have to go and stuff like that, eh? So they're probably just about right where they are. There's a few things I gotta do. I gotta pull the distributor back out. I am on top dead center. That mark is right on the money down there, so that's good. So distributor dropped in like butter as soon as I straightened out the oil pump pickup. But what I need to do here, because I've made a mess, is I notice as I'm tightening things up, I got a few wires that are just stragglers and they're all over the place. This has got to go on the other side of the oil pickup sending unit and stuff like this. So what I got to do right now is kind of remove some shit again, if you know what I'm saying. I don't really want to do it, but I have to. So I'm going to pull the distributor back out, get it out of the way for a minute, just so I can got a ground line here. We got to plug in and stuff like that. You know, just simple stuff, but we got to get this out of the way because it's right in my way and it's going to cock me over. Ooh, look at that nice distributor, Jim. Isn't that a beauty? Freaking right it is. So we'll put that up here so it's safe. Build aluminum too. And we'll stick my little rag I got back in the hole so we don't drop anything in there. Always stick a rag in your hole, Captain. Especially if you don't want to drop something in there. All right, so you stay there. So now what we got to do so we got to get back in here. We got to move these lines over and around this piece. So they got to come back through like this. And up this way. Oh, careful. So there's one job done. Hey, that wasn't bad. It's going to go this way too. There we go. So that's up and around the other way. Now what else we got to do is I don't want to, but we have to take all this back off because this isn't very tight and I'm afraid it's going to leak oil everywhere. So instead of leaking oil everywhere, we might as well fix it now. You know, all I need is a small bolt to put this ground on. Oh, just so you know, I did get my cables kind of plugged in, hooked up, and this is a kick down or the, sorry, this is the TV cable, which is a TV cable. It relieves the pressure in the valve train so you don't blow the transmission up. So what you gotta make sure is when this is full throttle, like that, this cable's all the way out. And I have it right on the money, Jim. She should be golden. Do you see that, Sean? Look at that, right on the money, Jim. Can't pull her out any further, Captain. That's what we want. So there we go, that was very easy. Actually, it was just snap in and away you go. So we did good on that one. What was I doing again? Oh yeah, so I gotta unhook all this shit again. We gotta move this, this gotta go under that. I don't know why this is like that. This should be over there. That's part of the friggin' that and this. It's got nothing to do with that. It's got everything to do with this. Oh God, I don't wanna. But I have to, careful. I'm gonna drop stuff on my bumper. I can see it coming. They're all right there. Hey, I'll fire up the light that I got from Daddy Dad. Friggin' right I will. Thanks, Daddy Dad. So down here, I put the light right where you need to see. So down here, we gotta take this back off, which is no biggie, really. You know, it's just an inchworm, that's all. We can handle her. There we go. Turn that off. Should be hand tight now. Yep. So we'll zing that piece back off. This is a oil pressure sending unit for the computer. And the other one that I don't have here, probably. Why would I have it here? Nope. Uh, Oh, can I reach that? I know this is a little big, but I don't have to get out of the truck this way. I love adjustables. They're my favorite. So loosen this back off. We'll take this line back out, which is the oil pressure line. Oh, look how far in that was. I got a good friggin' thing on that, didn't I? So now I can undo this and put some goop on it. So no matter where it is, it will seal. 
Because like I said, I'm really worried about that leaking everywhere. We don't want that happening. Oh, I'm glad I took that off. Look, I got friggin' crap inside the hole. Nothing worse than crap inside the hole, if you know what I'm saying. Can I reach the other stuff? Probably not. No, I have to get up anyway, see? Frig, why wouldn't I have to get up anyway? I'll be right back. <laughs> I said careful, for fuck's sakes. So how I'm gonna threadlock these ones is I'm gonna use the right stuff and I'll put that on the threads. That way I can stop it wherever I want. Because there's nothing worse than an oil leak on a new engine. And if you've done engines before, you'll know what I'm talking about. I've never done it before, but you know what I'm talking about anyways. Friggin' right you do. All right, so now we can put this back on. And it should be beautiful. Oh yeah, it should. I wonder if I can get one more full turn out of that thing. It doesn't feel like it. See, I'm gonna put it right back in the same position. It's right there, so I'm glad we did that. Now that that's done, I should have grabbed the wrench I needed for this, but I didn't. We can put this back on. Thank God that goes right by the distributor. Where's my adjustable 150 tonner here? Here it is. We can tighten this back up. There we go. And we can put this back on with some more of the right stuff. Friggin' right we can. The right stuff's always the right stuff. Careful. All right, so now we can take a wrench and we can tighten that up. Right? Wrong size. Next. Wrong size. Next. Still the wrong size, but we're going to use it. Got to make sure I don't bust this off. It's the only problem with brass fittings. They're not very strong. All right. So that's done. Fuck. Too many goddamn fucking open ends up here. <sighs> okay, so now that's done, we can uh, put the ground on before I put the distributor back on because I'm not going to be able to reach a goddamn thing if I don't. Because it's going to go on the back of the head, right? Right there, there's a bolt hole. So we'll get a we'll get a small nut. We'll get a small bolt for that, and we'll stick it in. I love sticking it in. Holy, you're getting hot, camera. What's your deal? Hopefully you can see what was going on. You were not even pointing down at shit. Oh God. Okay. Shorty. I said shorty. We need a shorty. There's one, but I don't know if it's the right size. Nope. Here's one, but it's probably too long. Well, all I can say is, all we can do is try. That's for something, and I don't know what. But I don't think it's supposed to go on there because that doesn't give you enough room for nothing. So actually, that might be a good size bolt for the back. Yeah, it's shorter too. Let's use that one. Save that because it's probably for the bracket for the doodad. The bracket for the fucking doodad. Fuck you do dad that should work now we need an open end for that do we got one no we don't let's put all these back there it is right there so we'll climb all back in here without wiping out and we'll uh put the ground on what a stupid spot for a ground but i have nowhere else to put it so it's gonna go back there fuck it that's what i say kind of like to put it down further is there another hole down further Oh, there is. Let's do that. Let's get it right down where we can't reach it next time. There we go. Perfect. Nothing like it being at the bottom of the block. Hey, can you even see down there? Because I can't. This is all by feel. Yeah, it feels good. Sure. Okay. Yep. Maybe. Oh, we got a long way to go and it feels tight already. I think the bolt might be too long. Oh my gosh. Man, that should go into that head. No problem. Fuck, feels like it's bottoming out there too. Oh, yeah, we got lots. I'll put her up in the top hole. That way I know I got lots. Lots of something. Lots of bullshit. Probably have lots of paint in it, too. Oh, yeah. She's going to be inchworm all the way in on this one, Captain. It is what it is. It was inchworm all the way out, too. But we need a ground. Let's make sure we don't get any wires caught under it, which we're doing already. And we'll make sure the wire is pointing down, not up. Hey, why wouldn't we? We're almost there. Oh, that's feeling pretty good right there. There we go. So see, there was a few things I forgot when it came to putting the distributor in too fast. I'll get ahead of myself. And I might just leave it out until I get these wires tied up too, maybe. Because it might be kind of tricky to rock around, to rock around. It's right on time. It's tricky to get in there. So yeah, I'm going to leave the distributor out for a minute or two. We'll put that in together later. 
kind of got ahead of myself on that one because I got to take all these wires back off and I got some stuff that I got to cover, tape them all up with. There's another ground here that goes here, but I really don't want to put it there. It went on the, I think it went on there actually. I'm going to try to locate a better spot for that as well, which I'm thinking maybe pull a water pump bolt back out and put it behind the alternator onto the water pump bolt. I guess I could put it there too. That's a bracket for the alternator. Frig. Unless I put another little, get another little bolt. Oh no, I can't because the thingamabobber goes there. Unless I yank that out. Who wants to say I could yank that out and put it on there? Same idea. Yeah, hud. Where are you going? Okay. So you too. Yeah, I guess I could put it right there. That's maybe not a bad idea. Look at that. I even have a ratchet here probably. No. Why would it be the right size? There it is over there probably. Can I reach it? Probably not. Will I try? You're fucking right, I will. Here, let's put that through the rad. Because that's where we want a grinder. It's through the rad. Oh, that's not the right size anyways. Tell me looking at it. There it is. In we go. Yeah, there you go. Right off my bumper. Thank God I have something covering it. <clears throat> oh, hey. I got my lines on for the rad, too. See, they're kind of somewhat ran up. So we're doing all right. We are. This is the vacuum for the PCV valve, if anybody's wondering. I'm not, but if you are wondering, that's what that's for. So I think I'm gonna take this bolt and I'm gonna try to get it out of there. I'm gonna do the little backwards and around trick on this so you don't see it. Backwards and around trick, I said. Stick it back in there and we'll tighten her back up. Instead of having that ground where I don't want it, It'll be where I don't want it, which is everywhere. That's much better. There, now it won't be up here in the front. Okay, so now what we gotta do is gotta run a ground strap, which is to a bolt I took out. Actually, I, I removed, oh no, right here. Is it that one or that one? Ground strap. I think it was from the top of this valve cover, actually, up to one of these bolts that I removed. So I might just go from the head to the frame. Is it long enough? Where is it? I don't know. I can't find it. But we'll do that later. Like I said, I gotta run. We'll do all this lumen stuff. I did a lot of this without you because there wasn't really much. It was time consuming and it would have made for a long video. But if there's any questions or anything you want to know in this area of your 305, let me know. I kind of figured out what everything's for. There's only one I couldn't figure out, but then it come to me and it was a knock sensor. So remember you have a knock, or knock sensor, sorry. It was the um, sensor on the exhaust. What's that called? The uh, O2 sensor. So that's about the only wire I couldn't figure out for a minute, but I did figure it out pretty quick. So my lines turn out really nice actually for the AN Infinity. They both go right down beside there. And they I'll have my hose coming off for the heater. And I'll have my other hose coming back from a heater. And my thermostat. Man, this thing's almost ready to fire. We'll be firing this up within the next uh, couple of weeks as long as everything comes in. I'm still waiting for it. So I hope you enjoy it. Don't forget to subscribe and like and hit the notification. I always like that. And like I said, leave me any questions or comments if you want to know something down here. Because I appreciate that. We'll see you on the next one.